Okay, we're going to start off on section 4.2, solving inequalities using addition and subtraction. I'm going to take you through some examples, and I would like you to do numbers 3, 4, 6, and 8. Okay, so let's get started. All right, um, solving an inequality is an awful lot like solving an equation. All right, in that you want to isolate the variable. So in this case, in order to get that x by itself, you want to add 3 to both sides. You're going to show your work just the way you did in solving equations. And you come up with x is less than 8. Okay, and we need to also graph that. Now, when you go to graph this, you're going to need to draw a number line. Put your numbers underneath the number line. You don't need to draw a number line quite as long as the one you see here. Um, you just really need your target number, 8, and at least one number on either side of it. Okay, that's all I require for your number line. All right, so in terms of graphing this, all right, we're going to start with 8. Since 8 is not less than 8, it's not to be included in our graph of the solution set. So it's only numbers that are less than 8. So we're going to start with an open circle and shade in the direction where you see the numbers less than 8, and that would be to the left. Okay, let's try another one. All right, again, I want to isolate the variable x, and I'm going to do that in this case by subtracting 6 or adding negative 6 to both sides, and I get my solution, x is greater than negative 3. All right, so again, um, I want to graph on the number line all the numbers that are greater than negative 3. So first of all, negative 3 is not greater than negative 3, so I'm going to leave that circle open, and I'm going to shade in the direction where you see all the numbers that are greater than negative 3, and that would be to the right, and you fill in the arrow to indicate it continues forever in the right direction. Okay, I want you to try number 3, so I'll give you a second to copy it down. Okay, then we're going to try, you're going to try number 4. I'll give you a second to copy that down. Okay, now number five is just a little bit more complex, that's all. And just like with equation solving, you want to simplify where you can. So I'm going to add the opposite and combine like terms. So that gives me um, 1x plus negative 7 is greater than negative 3. So working on isolating that variable, I'm going to add 7 to both sides, and I get x is greater than 4. Okay, and I need to graph that. So again, it's going to be an open circle on 4. And where the numbers are greater than 4 are to the right. And fill in your arrow. Okay, I want you to try number 6. I would suggest you add the opposite and watch your signs. You're going to distribute and simplify and get your solution and graph it. Okay, number 7. Um... All right, this one's more like a word problem. It says the maximum safe load of a chairlift is 680 pounds. In the spring, a cyclist and his bicycle go to the top of the slope using the chairlift. The weight of the person is 124 pounds, and the weight of the bicycle is 32 pounds. Which inequality best describes how much additional weight the chairlift could safely carry? So I'll give you a second to look through your choices there. Okay, it says the maximum safe load of a chairlift is 680 pounds. So you need to think about that in terms of inequalities. Okay, if it says the maximum safe load, does that mean less than, equal to, greater than, or equal to? What do you think? Okay, that's going to help us decide here what's going on. All right, so let's take a look. All right, we want to kind of relate this. And it says basically the weight of a person plus any additional weight is at most the safe load. So how would we write that using the numbers that we know? Okay, it says let W equal the weight that can be added to the chairlift, and you can use any variable you want, but you see in the multiple choice there answers that they used a W. All right, and so here we go. We have that weight of a person and the bicycle, in this case 124 plus 32. Add to that the weight that could be added to the chairlift, and that at most really means less than or equal to, and you know that that's the way it has to be to keep the chairlift safe, less than or equal to 680 pounds. All right, so B is the correct answer. Okay. On number eight, I really do want you to write and solve an inequality to find um, the answer to this problem, even though you might know um, already. I want you to write and solve an inequality, and this one's for you to try. All right, that's it. I will see you in class tomorrow. Thanks.